So we left it off where we were actually having the validator go wrong, like it wasn't actually doing it correctly. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is update this validator again. Um, the, the, we, we did some little bit of issue because of how this works. So the way I can do this is by realistically saying that if either one is invalid, then this, is in, th this shouldn't necessarily be invalid because they're both not invalid, right? So I really need to kind of think through again how I'm doing this. So now what I'm gonna do is just kind of come back and I'll say regular value equals to value and then um, value or other value. So I'll say if HTTP in reg value, new value is equal to reg value, okay? Else new value equals to and we're just gonna add HTTP colon slash slash plus value. That is now what we're doing. The reason we didn't see this before is because we didn't remove the dot com thing, the dot com validator until later. So now that we've got this, I can actually get rid of this second validator and just change it ever so slightly by just doing one validation instead of two. And I'll just do it with the new value now and we'll say it's not working, so it's now invalid. So I don't have to have this if statement there anymore. I can just have that clause being right there. Um, so just a slight little change there. And if we continue, I'll just try this again, invalid URL for this field. And again, we do abc.com and we do something like that. Then it does actually, it is a successful value. And if I click on it, unfortunately the redirect doesn't work now. And that makes sense because we didn't actually update the value in this validate URL. Instead, I'm gonna return the new value because that's what it should be. Because if we validate the HTTP method one, then we should return that one. So either way, we should return that new value. I'm gonna refresh in here. And now it says exists already. This one is not valid or it's not a good one. So let's try another one and say abc.com. Press enter, it says success. I go ahead and click on it. It's still giving me that abc.com. So it's not necessarily changing the value as I would hope. Um, so this is a little bit of a, of a glitch or an issue that's coming through that would kind of potentially prevent this from going a whole lot further. But the fact that I can jump into the form and reintroduce that clean method here, I'm not gonna do anything about the validation because I already have it. I'll just say if HTTP in URL, then we'll just return that. Otherwise, we'll return HTTP colon slash slash plus URL. And that's now what our clean method is going to be. Uh, and we come back in here and we refresh into here and we do abc.com, hit enter. Notice the HTTP is now there. I click on this and now it takes me to that proper redirect. So to really make this right, um, I want to think of two things here. I will keep it this way so you guys can see it in action and have it work. But when we come to our validators, this is where in our validation method, should we really be validating if it has HTTP in here? We could absolutely validate it as we have. Um, and then the next thought would be, should we actually change the URL inside of the form or should we change it somewhere else? the question should be somewhere else. Hopefully you thought about that. If you didn't, it's okay. The somewhere else should be on the actual save method itself. So going back in to the shortener model, we have this save method here. And now I'm just gonna say if not, HTTP in self.url, self.url equals to HTTP colon slash slash plus self.url. So that is actually a much better way than doing it in our clean method um, like we just did. So I refresh in here, I hit continue, nothing changes. So let's go back to our other page and we'll just do another one like nbc.com and press enter. And now it's showing that new URL because of how we did it. And let's do HTTPS, www.codingforentrepreneurs.com, Python rejects. I hit that and notice it didn't change it or add HTTP to it and now it's shortened, everything's working, it's starting to really come together. 
Okay, guys, so now in the next one, all we're gonna do is go live. We're gonna go on a real live server using heroku.com. If you have any questions on what we did with these cleanup things, please let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.